Hello HP Touchpad users, great news. Today I want to tell you about Android 9.0 Pi builds for the HP Touchpad. That's right, development is continuing and we have the latest builds. I'm going to take you on a little tour, tell you all about what's new, and give you all the latest links. Look for them in the video's description. Well, let's get started. First off, let me welcome you to the new home of HP Touchpad development. We're back at XDA developers with the Evervolve ROM. Currently we have two builds available and development has moved around a little. So here we have the Evervolve build that the Elgin Skater is working on hard for us. And previous builds were the Dirty Unicorns build. Now this build is still available for download, but we're not sure how updates are going to occur or if they're going to occur for Dirty Unicorns. It looks like development is switching back over to the Evervolve team. Now I know this is a little confusing. The Evervolve team first moved to DevSpace, which all the links to that are gone. And then they moved to Dirty Unicorns. They actually became the Dirty Unicorns team and they had forums and downloads in their threads. But those threads are gone. The download link is still here. And now we're back again with the Evervolve team in the XDA developers website. So big thanks to these guys, Flintman, Elgin Skater. They've been keeping the touchpad alive. Big thanks to you guys. Please check out their threads. Moving on to other developments. After you've gone through the Elgin Skaters thread here, uh, you may want to get the latest version of Twerp. He actually posted a newer version of Twerp right here. I'll have links in the video's description. Uh, this is 3.2.1, and now this is an upgrade from the older 3.1.0. And so you'll want to grab this and update this. All my threads will have this in it for the default from now on. Now these latest Android Pi builds are quite functional, however Bluetooth and the camera aren't currently working, there's a nice low deep sleep battery drain, and they're quite functional, however the biggest complaint is usually app compatibility for a streaming service or something that someone can't live without. So we do have previous versions of Android which run great, so if you're worried about compatibility, can't find something working with the latest version, just roll back to a previous version for that. For everyone else, give this a go, and I always recommend making a backup before getting started. To get these builds installed, I've got a full instructional guide, I've got a video for it right here, all the links and information you could ever possibly need, everything will be in the video's description. And here's the links to the 9.0 ROMs. I have the optional ROMs underneath, keep in mind there is two 9.0 ROMs to choose from. And here are the previous builds, if you have any issues just try one of the previous builds, there's a lot of great stuff to try out here. Moving on, I've added a follow-up Q&A section for some of the most frequently asked questions. And here is the ROM guide and download links. I know links go down all the time, so I've got links to all the working threads and downloads, kernel mods, everything that will go along with these. And I try to keep it updated as much as possible so all the links will keep working. Everything you could possibly need should be here. And of course the troubleshooting section in the third post, in case you're having any problems, it'll help to move them along. Additionally, there's a great install guide by Double Stuff. He hasn't had a chance to update his link, so you can just grab the downloads from my thread and come over here and try his instructions. It's a little bit shorter. Uh, you don't have to install KitKat first with these instructions. He's done a great job, but hasn't had a chance to update it yet. Shumash is back, this time with a swap partition mod. Shumash makes all the awesome kernel mods that we've been using for years. And now check out his latest mod, come give him a little feedback, let him know what you think. He says it works with any version of Android, and just creates a swap partition which will give you a little bit of a boost in performance, which never hurts, every little bit helps at this point as our touchpad is getting a little long in the tooth. Speaking of... Here's the Roots Wiki forum for everyone who remembers. Here's my original guide for installing gingerbread to ice cream sandwich on the HP touchpad. For all those people who have remembered, thanks to the developers who made this all happen. We've come a long way since gingerbread and development is still continuing to happen. Big thanks to everyone who's made that possible. And we just love to see this. So please subscribe and like the video. I'll keep making updates to let you know what's going on. Thanks for watching everybody.